what I've done is uh, I put a layer of glue down of blue mesh then I put a layer of fabric in it uh, this this kind this fabric so it faced the front then I put another layer of blue fat or I laid the lights in so it looks like the stars and then I put another layer of mesh in so it, it ended up looking really neat I hope you can see the lights isn't that cool Then I played around with this until I got it to where I think I want it to look like uh, like the hay in the manger. So I just did. Hi Charlotte. I did the uh, the twinkle lights that have this just this real little flat uh, piece to it that has uh, two batteries in it. Hi Sandy. Two little flat batteries. Hi Teresa. Instead of uh, the big three uh, batteries in it. So I better turn off the lights until we're done. Maybe. And then I've also attached uh, the decorative black because I don't know whether I'm going to put a bow on it that, that manger is usually no fancy or frilly thing and I've decided I've been doing this a little bit different uh, I'm zip tying the this is the base color that um, school bus yellow and what I'm doing I, is just making a, um, a ruffle and put a, I'm zip tying this to the base. And I've cut eight at uh, 30 inches. Like I said, I'm just going to zip tie these in. Zip tie them in and then put a... Uh, pipe cleaner in it, on it. I hope it turns out the way I've got it envisioned. Of course, we never know what we're going to end up with some, when we start different projects like this. I hope it turns out pretty. So is everybody ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow? My, my noodles are almost dry. I've got them out on the counter. Okay, so what I'm doing is zip tying this and putting uh, a pipe cleaner in. Because I want to go, I want them to go different, uh, different ways. So it looks uh, different dimensions in that. I've, I've cut eight. I don't know whether I'll think need eight. I want them kind of scrunched up together. And I've got the silver pipe cleaner in there. I was excited to uh, get the lights on because uh, it just made it look that much better with the lights on it. And I'm just doing a ruffle. I, I'm, I'm thinking it will make it look like it's got... Uh, Draw, I hope. So 
So I can't remember whether this is day eight or seven of my lives. <laughs> Must be getting old. <laughs> Must be getting old. And I'm just scrunching them up. Um, tying them down. Like I said, I don't know whether I'll need all eight. But that's what I started with. This is that nice fabric mesh. Just go straight up the middle. Kind of tuck your edges down so it kind of gives it a nice curl. edges roll in a little. Decided if I'm doing it this way that we won't have uh, you won't be able to see you know which way it goes. Just kind of fold that over and go up the middle. I cut these in 30 inch lengths and then cut them in half at 11 and a half because it's a 21 inch mesh. Does anybody have any family traditions they do for Thanksgiving? Any traditional meals or anything? I can't see any comments, so I, I can see people are here, but I don't know exactly who. Facebook has been really funny this week about the comments. So it looks like I'm only going to need seven, not eight.
them out before you tie it down tight. Get them kind of even. Hi, Joy. Yay, maybe I could have seen who's coming in. This turns out the way I like as that I'm thinking it might. I'm wanting that edge to ruffle or to fray so it looks like the frayed uh, mesh. Okay, we got one more. Went to the doctor today and he said my uh, thigh is healing up really good. So I don't have to go back, which is nice. Okay, so I got that first dark yellow on there. I thought that would give it the base, the base color of the of hay. I'm hoping. I just kind of fluff them out. And on my next one, I've got, uh, I've cut these in 20 inch. So I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to ruffle this, and this is 10 inch. Just go straight up the middle. Put that one in. Then this one, the glitter, the glitter fabric, which is really pretty. Just go straight up the middle with that one. And that gives that the base. And then put this one in. And just kind of twist your uh, zip ties or your pipe cleaners to go the opposite way of your first one. So it's making a kind of a crisscross. last one. Put it just the opposite way too. I should have done some of this but I just like, like I said I just got back from the doctor so didn't have too much time. I turn this one up the other way. So these are facing out this way. You want this one to face up the opposite way. And I don't think with the manger scene that we're going to need any ribbons or bows or anything like that. Just want it to kind of look like straw. Oh, that's 
Dang it, my things fell on the floor. Okay, so take the gold. Twenty-one inch or twenty ten inch cut in twenty-one inch lengths. Then the fabric Turn these, these are up, the middle is like this, this way. So now on this one, put it the opposite way. way from that so it's back sideways and for those of you that just came in I've already put uh, lights on it and a sky, background of a sky. Like I said, I want to make that so it looks like frayed stuff. I think I need to put all eight of them on there. It's getting to be too much mesh there. Put the silver on. And then the fabric. I found this fabric uh, today in Walmart. It was uh, $7.95. So I think uh, that's a little expensive for that, but it was so pretty. I think this is all it's going to take unless we decide unless I decide to put a bow but I don't think I want a bow on it. His birth was pretty humble so no flash. some sparkle in there, you know me. Now I thought I did buy some little gold twigs that kind of will look like uh, trees hanging.
wish I could see some comments. Thank you guys for coming. This is Relax and Unwind Wednesday, and I think it's day eight of my lives. I love this mash, this frayed mash. different meshes. Probably didn't need that many, but bunch of anything on this. 
can spread them apart. Questions, anybody? I wish I could see some comments. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> anyway, we have we have a new design uh, group. It's called the uh, uh, Team of Dreams. We have uh, seven designers there, and. Uh, we have Robin with uh, Robin's Wreathery. We have Rita with Rita's Wreath Barn. We have Susan with AC Inspired Wreaths. We have uh, Dawn with uh, Dawn Decor or Wreath Decor by Dawn. We have Sandy Pastor uh, with Trending Designs by Sandy. Myself, Carla at the One Stop Boutique. Uh, I think I've got every, oh, and LaVon, she's forever dreams of you. We do everything from uh, chalk painting, oil painting, uh, hats, wreaths, crafts. So if you get a chance, come over and join our group. We'd love to have you. It's nineteen ninety five a month, but you get uh, seven designers, and we do two Zoom calls Monday night and Friday night. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, manger scene, nativity scene. My chicken, I can smell my chickens done. So I better get off and get that new, get them noodles going. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock, maybe. Okay, you guys have a wonderful uh, day and if I don't see you, uh, before tomorrow, have a happy Thanksgiving. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.